This morning we actually have a bunch to do. Um, I'm about to run out the door. I'll show you my outfit real briefly. So I ended up picking up this like sweater dress. It's technically a shirt, but I'm wearing it as a dress. <laughs> um, I ended up getting it a little bit longer so it would fall a little bit shorter. Um, I am wearing this striped gray and white cami underneath. It's just a really, really long cami um, because the, the shirt by itself is of course a little too short. Hi, baby. <laughs> and then I'm just wearing these thigh high gray socks and I'm gonna be wearing these really small white heels with this outfit. Um, I haven't done my makeup yet for today. I'm just going to keep my hair like this. Um, I just really don't feel like styling it today at all. Um, when we come home and we're done with all our errands, I'll do my makeup. But the other day, my neighbor invited me and Ella out with her and her daughter to go to the library. And I've been hearing all about the library, how they have like activities for kids. But I was always kind of nervous to go by myself, just really not knowing what I'm walking into. We ended up loving it. And we're going to go back again this morning. Um, we ended up renting a couple of books while we're there. Um, it says, I can go. Everybody reads. Or everything. I can read. Everything goes. Uh, we picked up Screw the Drew. Oh, Drew the Screw. <laughs> Sorry, I can't read. Uh, and then we picked up Why Does Cats Meow? Because my daughter is obsessed with cats. Um, but you can also rent movies over there as well, actually. Um, so the three movies we ended up renting was Snow White and I'm a Dingling. I got it, the Blu-ray one, so we weren't even able to watch it. I got The Island Princess and I got The Secret Garden. So when we go to the library, we're returning all of this this morning. She's getting antsy to leave, so I'll just show you the rest in the car. Wait, do you want to go somewhere or something? <laughs> you got different shoes on, babe. Your shoes are over here, my love bug. Yeah, meow meow. Ugh, my husband's work shoes. Ugh. All right, so before we continue with showing you what I was showing you, I forgot that future Shayna has an announcement to make or a little thing to show you. Uh, I had gone to Rite Aid the other day and I was trying to find a dupe to my Kat Von D liquid lipstick because I'm filming a tutorial pretty soon about um, of a makeup look I wore but I wanted to make sure because the product um, the tutorial has a lot of high-end products I at least wanted a drugstore product out to be able to like if you don't have this you can just run out to a drugstore and grab this so I'll show you guys that in a second but take it away future Shayna <laughs> Well, thank you, Shayna from the future. So, so today, as I explained, um, I had gone up to Rite Aid and I picked up some new items. So um, today, like right now, I'm actually getting ready to film my updated eyeliner routine. I'm finally getting around to it. I know you guys have been asking forever. I'm sorry. It's just, oh, it just took so long to film and to get out for you guys. Um, but I really, really wanted to put, be able to put this stuff away, so I wanted to film today and then just throw it in my next vlog. I picked up this white eyeliner for an upcoming tutorial, not the one that I'm filming today, but my next one. Um, and I didn't have a liquid uh, white eyeliner, so I had gone to Rite Aid, and truthfully, I was having a really hard time um, finding any, which kind of, I don't know, I didn't expect it to be so hard. <laughs> I just felt like, you know, like different colored eyeliners is kind of a thing now, but it was it was a challenge. So I found this one from Jessie's Girl, which I've never used that brand. I've kind of been tempted to try some of the stuff um, because it is drugstore, so it is quite affordable. I think this eyeliner was six something. Um, so this is a super fine applicator. Uh, liquid eyeliner sorry a little shadowy there um, just look out for a box like this if this does work and you want to get your hands on it um, I do like the packaging I think it's very um, I don't know I just I really like when stuff comes in little boxes instead of just the eyeliner out in the open I don't know I feel like it just kind of keeps 
people's hands off it a little bit better. Uh, but here's the eyeliner. So the, the packaging is very, very um, simple. I'm trying not to show you guys like in the shadow. Maybe if I adjust a bit. Um, so it does say Jessie's Girl right there. It's not really focusing very well. But it says Jessie Girl's, uh, Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. It's made in Germany. Um, let me see if I can't find any quick information about like cruelty free. Uh, let's see, it says by combining our all day formula with our Japanese made, okay, um, precise line applicator, Jessie's Girl has created the perfect liquid eyeliner. So it's a Japanese product that's, or at least made in Japan, <laughs> um, with the ability to create lines as fine as one millimeter, our super fine applicator makes it possible to apply the most precise lines for your desired looks. Um, it actually gave, gives us an application tip, uh, a shape says shake pel pen oh, well <laughs> before each use, apply lightly for thin lines, increase pressure for more, more bold look. Um, it says it's that this is odd. It says made in Germany, but the applicator is made in Japan. Okay. Um, this is in the color Snow White, which is really, really cute. So let's go ahead and look at the applicator. Okay, so it is like a felt tip. Oh, <laughs> I was doing my brows this morning. I haven't cleaned that up yet. Um, but it's a super, super, super fine felt tip liner, which is exactly what I was looking for because the look that I needed for needs to be very, very, very fine, very precise. Um, so I'm going to... Ooh. Ooh, that was really... That is really, 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 really nice, actually. Like, I'm barely applying pressure. Like, right there, I barely touched my skin, and it's coming out really nice. So, there's the fine line, and then if I apply more pressure, you get kind of a thicker line. So, that is awesome. I was, I just wanted to test it now because I wasn't sure if this would work for the look. So, I didn't want to like go and sit down, be ready to film, and then learn that I didn't like this product. So, I'm going to give this a couple of seconds to dry. We're going to try out the other product and then um, I'm going to kind of rub it and see uh, if it stays at all. So that is the first thing, and truthfully, I may go out and pick up more colors in the future of these. They had a couple colors. I think I remember seeing a purple, maybe a blue, a black. Um, I don't know, but I am already impressed with just the white. Um, the second thing that I picked up besides my Reese's that I picked up, I love Reese's. Um, the second thing I got was from Revlon, and I've been really, really, really wanting to try these. I see these all the time. Every time I go to Walmart, um, this time, again, I went to Rite Aid, but I have seen these in Walmart. I'm sure they're in Target. Um, this is the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. I specifically wanted this color, which is called Infatuation, because since the fall is here, um, I really, I love this color. It looks like a deep purple color. Um, before I go ahead and swatch it, I picked up this color because um, I was wearing a makeup look not too long ago um, in my No Excuse uh, video I had posted, basically my apology video recently, um, and you guys wanted a makeup tutorial, which I was actually planning on filming one anyways, because I really liked how my makeup came out, and I thought it was so appropriate for fall, um, but because on my lips, actually, most of the look is all um, high-end, at least for the lips, I wanted to be able to give you a dupe, because uh, the ones, the my lipstick that I was wearing, I was wearing two of the Kat Von D um, Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, one in Damned and the other in... I forget, uh, Outlaw, I think that's what the red one is called, so Damned and Outlaw. Um, I went over with Damned, then I went over with Outlaw, then I went over Damned one more time. So this is kind of the color that had come out. I think this may be a little more purpley, but um, I feel like it's probably close enough. I'm going to swatch the two uh, next to each other. Enough rambling about that. <laughs> uh, so it's a little doe foot applicator, but it's kind of a little bit... Uh, shaped differently than a traditional doe foot, but I am gonna go ahead and swoosh. Lord, ooh, you are pretty. 
So it is a little bit sheer uh, with just one coat. What is that? Oh, it covered my hair and it was sticking up straight. Uh, so it is a little bit sheer uh, when you first put it on, but not like totally sheer. It doesn't look like a gloss, um, but it definitely looks like it could use another layer. Uh, so same thing I did with the white liner. I'm going to let this dry completely matte. We'll take a look at it. Uh, that's what it looks like literally just applied. Um, so I'm going to kind of see how long it will take to fully mattify. Uh, we'll do a second layer over it and check out the pigmentation uh, but back to the white so I am just going to start kind of rubbing a bit okay so it is kind of coming off um, not completely uh, but the, the color is certainly fading um, I don't know if you can really tell or not on camera but definitely in person I see a big difference uh, to when we first started that's how pigmented it was and that's how pigmented it's not <laughs> so honestly that doesn't really deter me away from the liner I still think it's a very very good liner of course I haven't actually worn it on my eyes for like a full day to give you a totally honest opinion but if you guys want to hear how I like a uh, how I like this after I do wear it after that tutorial and stuff um, let me know but otherwise my opinion right now is that I really like it and it may make its way into my favorites whenever I decide to do that again. Uh, <laughs> so back to the lipstick, it's only been about a, maybe a minute or so, but it's definitely still uh, wet. So I'm going to let it dry for a bit. I'll let you guys know how long it takes when I come back to you. So it's been a couple of minutes and it's like doing something kind of weird. <laughs> Ow, don't you dare bite me! Don't you dare... <laughs> Don't you dare bite, Mama. I'll bite you back. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's kind of doing something weird, and it's still not fully dried. And if a mat is not dried after, like, three minutes, there is a problem. Uh, so I'm going to try it on my lips. Maybe it's just reacting differently with my hands. I don't know. But I didn't... I, I didn't want to put it on my lips, but we're going to anyways. Uh, so I am just going to go ahead and oh, apply this okay it's kind of a uh, it feels weird it like feels I can't talk so give me a second <laughs> I don't know it just <laughs> should I leave it like that mm, delicious uh, does anyone else have an issue like figuring out where their lips starts and ends because I do. I'm forming opinions on this already. They're not good. Oh my gosh, this is just uh, uh, okay. We'll call that good for a good first layer. Look at that. Oh, it's just oh everywhere. Oh. So the color is beautiful. The color is absolutely gorgeous, and it is brilliant for fall. However. I'm not a fan of the applicator. Um, at first, when I pulled it out and looked at it, I was like, huh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I think the problem with the applicator is that it doesn't have a fine tip. Um, even the tip, it's, it's rounded and it's kind of thick. So it's really, really, really difficult to line your lips. Um, why are you bringing over your dollhouse? I'll leave it over there. Um, it's very difficult to line your lips uh, cleanly. Um, so far, no transfer on my teeth already, which is a good thing. Um, but it does look very, very splotchy. Um, I'm just hoping that like maybe with a, a, a lip liner, of course, I just applied this right over my lips. I had a little bit of foundation on my lips, um, but it already seems to be drying a little bit better than how it was on my hand, maybe a little bit uh, faster. I don't know if it's just because my breath passing is making it dry a little bit faster. I don't know. Um, but the application was just a little bit messy. So I, truthfully with these so far, like my first opinion is to get 
a lip liner that's similar in color maybe and just like line your lips so you have that clean precise uh you know outline and then fill it in with this because this is reminding me a lot of transylvania from nyx and i did not like that formula at all the color again was brilliant but um I just wasn't a fan. It, it it didn't really it didn't stay at all. I don't think it was a matte to be on. Oh, maybe it was. You know, I think it was. Um, it didn't like dry matte. When I think of matte, like it becomes a part of my face is what I want. Truthfully. So, anyways, I'm gonna give this a few minutes. I am probably gonna like wash my dishes or something and then come back. So I give it like plenty of time to dry it's still not completely dry um you can still see that it's a bit shiny on the top lip especially so i don't know will the shine go away that's kind of the point of a mat so i would hope so but we'll never know until we let it fully dry so i will see you guys in a few minutes again super brief update so it's been five minutes i'm still doing dishes <laughs> but i figured i would stop after five minutes and show you so no transfer on the teeth still but it's still not quite dry so I'll give it another like five minutes or so and we'll see another five minute update uh it's still not dry <laughs> so I'm uh, okay so it's been 10 minutes so if it was going to dry completely matte by now it would have it would have done it in 30 seconds let's get honest so I'm a little bit disappointed with these things I I just I wish they drew dried completely matte they're not supposed to transfer so easily so what I am going to do next is um, I'm gonna get my damned, uh, uh, oh my god, matte lipstick, which is, it's almost a brown, um, but that kind of defeated the purpose. I was trying to find a dupe to it, um, that was drugstore. Um, again, this is similar, um, it's definitely more on the purple side than my damned is, which is more on the brown side, but, um, I'm gonna see, cause I don't wanna truthfully I don't want to go to the, through the hassle of returning it so if I have it might as well find a way that I can use it again it is a beautiful color but it's just not great on payoff so I'm gonna try to you'll see in a second but I'm gonna try to like apply damned like just super quickly maybe to just like my bottom lip and then apply this while it's still wet and see if like the colors will mix together and help it dry i don't know we'll do a little bit of experimenting next you know couple more tests on this lipstick i just got finished doing dishes and i took a potty break um <laughs> firstly i want to see how easily this comes off i'm gonna assume kind of easily uh so i have these original fresh wet cleansing towelettes from pond and they're not a super strong makeup remover wipe. Um, I use these more for like after I wash my face if there's anything uh, else remaining. So with that said, the final look to this is that it doesn't dry completely matte. Uh, still transfers a bit, not as bad. But like up here by my cupid's bow is almost entirely still glossy. So I'm not happy with that, but let's go ahead and try you disappoint me <laughs> I want to scrub my lipstick like I had I want to like have to remove my actual lips to get my lipstick off so uh, by itself I am not a fan but that's what we're here for to try something else so this is damned so this is uh, the color that I was talking about that's like the high end that's why you know it, it's like 20 something bucks for this thing so but oh my god is it worth it look how beautiful so it's like a brownish cranberry color so I'm gonna swatch the two right next to each other so you can compare the colors oh my god these are almost exact holy crap these colors are almost exactly the same so check this out this this one right here was the Kat Von D one and this one right 
yeah and this one right here was the Revlon one like the colors are crazy similar but my Kat Von D girl mm, you are already drying you know what I like so what I'm gonna do again is work in like smaller sections just because this does dry so fast and see if the two combined can just create a really really nice color uh, and I do prefer these applicators because they are much uh, skinnier they come to a point just a lot easier to line your lips with so by the way that does stain a little bit <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start to line like I think I'm gonna do half okay like that should have probably opened it <laughs> and then I'm gonna put this on top mm -hmm. Oh, pretty. This has an odd smell to it, too. <laughs> but that is, you know, the two lipsticks um, topped on top of one another. So I'm going to do my upper lip next, um, the upper half. I just, I'm curious to see if these will dry completely mattified if uh, they're put on together instead of just one or the other. So, start with my Kat Von D. One, and then we'll quickly, it's not like turbo quick where I'm like, oh, it's already dry. It does take a minute or so if you've never tried these yourself. And then here goes the Revlon one on top. I kind of just want to make sure they get mixed. And I may even go as far as to put a second Kat Von D one on top. But I almost feel like it's like I already have this color and if I have to use this color anyways to, I don't know, you see my dilemma. <laughs> but um, I'm going to give this a few minutes and see if it does anything. I might as well just do my entire lip because i got to go to the dry cleaners in just a minute. And this is not a cute look. What do you think, Belle? What do you think? Mama? Like yes, sweet pea. A timer for my dry cleaner just went off. So let's do this real quick. Right. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the rest of my lips the same way. Are you hungry again, girl? You had pancakes? You had Captain Crunch? <laughs> girl. Okay, okay. Give me a second. Just one second. Alright. So, you okay? All right, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and let this completely dry, um, and then I'm going to go to the dry cleaners, get my clothes, and uh, we'll be back, and I'll kind of give you my final thoughts. <laughs> Update about the lipstick. <laughs> so we've only been in the car for like a couple minutes, but it's still not dried, and I know my cap on D1 would be dry the one on my hand is like totally dried and I think it may just be the fact that I have the Revlon mixed in with it and the Revlon one just doesn't want to dry completely dry no you're fine you don't have a boo-boo so the bottom line is I may end up returning that lipstick just because I feel I already have one what do I need another one for that I don't really care for so I feel like it may be a great dupe for, you know, if you don't have the Kat Von D one or like you just don't want to spend the money on it. But just understand that if you do decide to just get that Revlon one that it doesn't really truly dry matte. Uh, it still has a bit of shine to it and I feel like that's just because it doesn't dry completely. I don't know. So it definitely, like the color is spot on to damned. It really is. I was really, really, really blown away. But look, like, there was a Revlon swatch next to the Kat Von D one. To me, it's not worth it. I'm not telling anybody to not go and buy it. I'm just saying, proceed with caution is all. So, take it away, past Shayna, future Shayna. Back to you, girl.